Hello everyone, I am Sadiq Ali. Welcome back to another Python tutorial. In today's video, we will dive into some fundamental concepts in Python. So grab your coding heads and let's get started. All right, let's start with basic. Uh, actually, Python is a four-pool programming language, uh, as you know. Uh, and you know, for its simplicity and versatility, it's like a toolbox with various uh, tools that make programming tasks easy and efficient. Many companies value Python skill best uh, because it's applicable in diverse job roles. Now let's jump into some hands-on coding. Uh, first thing first, uh, let's uh, start with uh, hello world, you know. <laughs> Actually, I just printed my own name. Uh, print hello sadikari now let's uh, print the hello world but uh, le let me teach you how to save this programming you know uh, uh, you can do that uh, automatically just by pressing ctrl plus s uh, you know about comment if you don't know let me teach you uh, comments are a great way to explain your code in Python. Uh, we have both single line comments and multi line comments. As you can see, uh, actually, you can use hash for single line comments and for uh, double line comments, uh, as you can see. As you see, uh, multi line command. Uh, let me do that uh, in a proper way so you can understand that because uh, you know it will be easy for you. Let's jump into variable. Next up, we have variable, which are container for storing data values. Let's define some variable and perform an addition. As you can see, uh, we are going to print that, print x, print y, print z. And we just store the value x equal to 1, y equal to 2, and z equal to 3, and s is equal to x plus y plus z, you know. It's a basic arithmetic operation here. Don't worry about that, I will teach you later. So don't worry about that. Actually, Python is so simple and easy to work with. Remember that variable names are case sensitive, so Remember that, and I will show you later. Uh, and don't worry, I will teach you everything about string, variable, data types, everything. Don't worry about that. In the next video. As you can see the output.
uh, let me tell you something uh, variable art case sensitive uh, as i told you before uh, let me show you And uh, let me teach you one more thing, you know, about uh, double quote and single quote, you know, in Python, uh, single and double quotes are interchangeable. So don't worry about that. And now let's talk about legal and illegal variable in Python. We actually illegal variable names in Python, how you can write uh, legal and illegal variables, you know, how to start because uh, if you are going to start variable with uh, a number so it would be illegal so you can't start there with number so make sure you are writing variable with proper name you know and you got me don't worry It would be a lot better if you just uh, practice with me while watching this video. It would be a lot better for you to learn uh, Python, actually. And I will upload this code on my GitHub so you can download that. You know, in Python, uh, actually, a Python envelope assigning multiple values to multiple variables in one line. And check this out. You know, x, y, z is equal to sadik, sadik1, sadik2, sadik3, etc. Actually, sadik is my name, that's why I'm using sadik. Oh, just. Just ignore this, you know, just ignore it. Just a command, just a multi line command, you know. As you can see, uh, let's make that in another way, just like assigning names to different strings, you know. I'm really sorry. You just have to plug in the charger. Now, 
let's touch on global variable you know about global variable these are accessible both inside and outside function if you don't know about function don't worry i will teach you that don't worry but here i will teach you about global you know just simple concept don't worry about that if you don't know about function If you, if you are using global variable, it means these are accessible both inside and outside function. And I will teach you about function in later video. Just a simple concept, go right up. And I will remind you a global function, global variable in a function video. If you want to define function, you can define that, define like that. Okay, let's run that code as you can see okay and that's it uh, for today in our next video we will explore Python data type string and insect and whole syllabus I will uh, let you know about uh, uh, the Python syllabus you know and the content we are going to teach you in this tutorial thank you so much for watching this video if you found this helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye thank you so much